Mini Wargamer Dave here from MiniWarGaming.com. Wargamers, we typically do Warhammer related content, but today we have a special treat for you. Fine folks over at Warlord Games have sponsored this video and this giveaway attached to this video, which is pretty sweet, if you ask me. If you've ever wanted to get into bolt action, now is the perfect time. So, two player starter set, Band of Brothers, that's what the giveaway is. All you got to do to enter is leave a comment in this video down below right there. It could be something like Band of Brothers or Bolt Action or Warlord Games. Whatever you leave, it's just an indication to us that should we randomly choose you, you would be okay with this package being sent to you through the warp. It's as simple as that. This battle report will feature Josh and Luca duking it out using their forces in this Bolt Action game. This is not all. It gets better. If you're a Silver Vault member, Warlord has offered an exclusive discount specifically for you. So again, if you want to get into bolt action, now is the time to do it. A link has been provided in the video description below for that, specifically for Silver Vault members. Without further ado, let's jump into the war. Hey there, Wargamers. Luca and Josh here from MiniWargaming.com, bringing you some bolt action at 1,000 points. We've got Germans up against the Soviet forces. Fighting amidst... A quaint countryside. We play and call it work. Mini War Gaming's Bolt Action Battle Report. Let's take a peek at the German forces I'll be playing in today's game. I will be playing Late War Foschmeger with Panzer Support, which is the tank there in the back. For the officer, I have a first lieutenant accompanied by two buddies. They're going to be running around with assault rifles or ARs in this game. I also have four infantry squads now. Two of them are going to run with well eight men and one NCO, and they're going to have two light machine guns and rifles will be the rest. And the mirror is over here. And then the other two infantry squads I have, well, they're going to be equipped with submachine guns. I had a few points left over, so one will run with six men, one's going to have five, and... Uh, I think I have a pretty good plan for them. We'll see though. I'm pretty inexperienced uh, for bolt action, but we will pick it up. We're picking it up. We have a medium mortar team with a spotter. Now, these are the only regular trained or experienced infantry or forces in my regiment here. The rest are all veterans, including the Stug. We got a veteran Stug over here. Bloop. Gonna be some heavy armor, I suppose, in this game. We'll see if it has an impact or not. Not too sure, not very familiar with the tank rules as of right now. We'll see how effective it really is. It's got a medium machine gun on it, and it's got one big old turret that shoots a giant shell. And here's my 1,000 point Soviet reinforced platoon. Uh, I've got some transport trucks in the back. Also in the back there, I've got a T-3485 medium tank. Uh, I'm mixed veterancy all over the place, so the tank is regular, and both of the transports are inexperienced. Nice. Looking at my infantry squads, I have got a grand total of five here. I've got three partisan squads just running around, hopefully putting some extra pin markers onto Luca's units. I also have my free inexperienced rifle squad with the anti-tank grenades there. And then with the submachine guns, I do have a storm group. So these guys are absolutely armed to the teeth. They are veterans all with submachine guns and anti-tank grenades. Leading the force, I do have a junior lieutenant with an extra man uh, running around with submachine guns. I've also brought a forward artillery observer. Um, I love the fact that, you know, you don't have to have your artillery on the board. You know, this is radioing artillery from off board as it should be. <laughs> and then I have a medium machine gun team, a medium mortar team, and a sniper team. Both the machine gun and mortar are regular, and then the sniper is a veteran. And that's my force. What with this giant anti-tank? Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I'm not too sure what it is, I but got it's a, big. It's a Ziz 2 anti-tank gun. Hey, I was right, it is anti-tank. So it's that is a regular trained uh, three-man team. Yeah. Today we do scenario two out of the rule book. We're doing a meeting engagement. This is pretty simple. Uh, we can choose to put up to half of our units in reserve. Everything else forms the first wave. Turn one is when your first wave is moving on the board. Neither of us start with anything already on the board. The game duration is we're gonna play six turns with a potential seventh turn. And as far as victory, pretty simple. We're gonna score one victory point for each enemy unit destroyed. And if at the end of the game, one side scores at least two more victory points than the other, 
you won. Taking a closer look at the table we have set up today, like I said earlier, Queen Countryside fighting on the Russian border, maybe. It could be anywhere. This is an important little Russian town. This is, yeah, that's what the idea was. That's uh, to represent Josh's forces here and my German forces pushing in. Now, what we have here is a slew of terrain from all over the place. We have the fences from Games Workshop, the mat itself with the road down the middle. If you're curious, that's from gamemat.eu. And we have green leaf terrain that has made the ruined countryside buildings for us. Uh, and then <laughs> random other stuff. We got like green leaf terrain for some of the trees. We have foreground. We have the citadel wildwood bases to represent uh, heavily dense woods. We're going to move those around as we move our infantry in them, but they're going to represent woods and rough terrain for that. Uh, game mat for the well over there, and then tabletop world for a lot of like the little tiny scatter terrain that you'll see in barrels and everything. And then that's just an actual truck. <laughs> I'm not too sure what that... That's that... one of the warlord uh, German oh. trucks. Is that a German truck? Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're moving on in. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and figure out where we're deploying and everything. But our forces, instead of actually deploying our entire forces, like Josh said earlier, we're gonna be playing the game as we deploy them. Rolled it up. I'm choosing this side right here. Now with me choosing side, I had to clear my reserves first. So I'm gonna be putting my T3485 in reserves and that's it. I don't need him on the board right away. He's gonna go <laughs> sneak around on a secret mission here. Uh, I will be sending him on a proper outflank too, not just reserves. So Luca, do me a favor, uh, close your eyes real quick. My eyes are closed. Going that way. So everybody watching now knows which side he's coming in on, except for Luca. So okay. uh, very good. Are you putting anything into reserves? No, we're going to be showing a full fo force as if we've already kind of contr have control of the area, and then you are sneaking in as like a yeah, like that, a, that makes sense. I double you on uh, actual activation, so yeah. it makes sense. You probably want your stuff on the board right away. Right. Okay. I didn't. Even, I didn't even think about that uh, from that factor. Now I want to point out that I am. We're both actually. I don't know how inexperienced you are, but I'm pretty inexperienced. I'm a bolt huge action. fan of bolt action, but I haven't had the chance to play it a whole lot. Right. So uh, bear with thought. us. Bear with us. <laughs> uh, you know, feel free to point out all of our uh, mistakes, both tactical and rules wise, in the comment <laughs> section below. And I'm super excited for this. I'm beyond excited for playing bolt action. To give you some. Uh, so I'm a little over eager. <laughs> to give you some perspective, we played two games off camera, and like that is it. We played a couple <laughs> test games. Um, I played years ago. I've got an American force that I'm super excited to show off. But uh, I got the, we got the Soviets. Like I can't not play the Soviets that's, right now. That's absolutely. So the fair. Americans soon. All right, my man. So I'm not gonna. This is not a how to play. Right, by any means. Yeah. But I'm going to explain some of the things that we're doing as we go along, especially if you're more familiar with other game systems. So Bolt Action doesn't use the standard I go, you go. For every unit that we have, we get dice in a bag. Yes. And the way this works is I'm going to draw a dice right now without looking, shake them up. And, and remember, I have seven dice in there and Josh has 15. 14. 14. Oh, yeah, 14. I think you had yes. 15. Okay. I thought I did too. <laughs> so I pull one of mine first, likely, so I get to order one of my units now. All right, so looking at these forces here, um, I do have some flexibility in what I want to do. So my T3485 T3, that will not be showing up until at least turn three is going to get the down order because he still gets his orders, but he can only ever be ordered to go down. All right. Does he show up randomly? Uh, I need to, I get to pick when he shows up, but I got to roll the order test to get him to come on. Oh, gotcha. And then we just keep drawing dice from bags and activating units. Uh, it's going to be. You think it's you? Do you want it to be you? I don't really. I'd rather go last than this. Route. Bam. Awesome. Okay. Well, it's it, you, friendo. It, it is me. All right. Fine. I'm gonna pick one of my larger infantry squads, uh, veterans that have their MG42s, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, at least I think they're MG42s. You, instead of run is three, I'm gonna issue them a run, which is the third uh, number on a uh, number on a D6 there. I'm gonna choose for this infantry squad to run on from the table edge over here, uh, and with the run they get to move 12 inches as long as it's there's no terrain really uh, impeding that. Uh, we are going to run and get ourselves into a position uh, in these sandbags here. So we're going to have the unit end up somewhere around here. I'll show you where they end up. All right, boyos. There we go. That's it. Time for another dive. Oh, I should probably get the order. Bam! It ran. <coughs> Josh is the uh, dice man because I'm holding the camera. <laughs> yeah, this works out a lot better. Um, see, this is weird because turn by turn, you don't necessarily want all your stuff to go first or last. I think I kind of want to go last with everything. With bringing stuff on, that kind of makes sense because it's a yeah. lot of positioning right now. That's what my that's what my gut feeling tells me. Okay, that's, a, Josh. that's a Josh die. Again, issuing orders to things off board. The storm squad that is on board this truck here will be getting the down order. Oh. All right. Does that mean they're just not showing up yet? It means that um, if you want to stay on board the trucks, you have to give yourself down orders. Oh, so you give the truck the separate order? Yes, truck gets a separate order. Oh, you're just burning orders. I see, I see. A little bit, a little bit. I'm trying to be Schmort. sneaky. Mort. 
chances are I'll continually pull. Yeah. It, it, I mean, it won't be the should, face right? back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> oh, never mind, it's oh, Luca. Okay, it's me. Ah. All right then. I'm gonna go with my medium mortar team. Uh, now the spotter is a separate entity on the battlefield, but they get ordered together. Uh, so we're gonna give them the run order. Get them into a good position, or what I perceive as a good position. Give you a perspective of where they're gonna show up. I think I'm gonna skew heavily to this side of the table. We're gonna have it do a run right towards the woods. Not quite in them, but right there, skirting the edge of it. The spotter is gonna run on uh, somewhere over here and he's going to go into the building. Just uh, off him inside there? Yeah, we're, gonna, we're playing all the ruins as uh, the ruin buildings as, as buildings with different levels. Uh, but he's only, he's gonna be on the first level. And has pretty good line of sight to see out and around. Right. Pull him from the bank! Show me a taco cap. Nope. Bam, no, it's me. Gosh. And still got orders to burn here. So down. So I, uh, the inexperienced infantry is in the truck too then, eh? Yeah, the each of these are in the trucks. All right, continue. <laughs> I need to figure out where you're showing up. That's fair. All right, you turn. Pull a die. Give you some perspective. This is Josh ordering his mortar team running right. on the board. My medium mortar is going to show up there. And then my little spotter is going to jump into the ground floor of this building. All right. Okay, time for a taco cat. It's, Come on, Luca. Uh, I need to know where your stuff's showing up. I Bam, got, it's me. No. I got, I got lots of stuff on the table. I'm going to have uh, one of my partisan squads go, and I'm going to be rushing onto the board over here and just trying to put a little bit of pressure on your mortar team. Back to dice. Back to dice bag. Is it me? Bam. Nope, no, it's again. me again. <laughs> again, let's get ourselves rushing onto the board with more partisans here. All right, what are the chances here? What are the chances? I think we're starting to get a kind of equivalent. We, I think we've got equivalent stuff left. I so got five. I still have five remaining. Yeah. I think I still have both five. But I'm going to pull another <laughs> one. And then right in the middle, near the woods, they're going to be running up towards them. Jump into the woods next turn. But yeah, trying to get some more partisans on the board. Burning dice. Come on, German dice. There we hey, go. Hey, we got Finally, Luca. Get on the board. OK, OK, I see. We're gonna run my smaller submachine gun squad onto the table. You're going to, uh, they're gonna hop over the fence and they're gonna end up doing a run to about here. Supporting the mortar team, ideally. Okay, not happy with those partisans over there, but that's that's a more expensive squad. Yeah, it's probably a lot more expensive. Bam, Another Josh, Josh order. All right, a little nervous about this because you do have some big guns left on the table. You know what, no, I'm not gonna go with the truck. We're going to send my uh, lieutenant on. All right, your junior lieutenant. Yes. Where is he showing up? I do believe he will just show up behind this building. All right. But... And it's... Me again. All right, made the dice. No, go in my no. Favorite. Seems like a great time for a machine gun. Medium machine gun. Moving out of the table. Yeah. Nothing wrong where they might end up setting up. All right, more dice. I have four left and Josh has like two. <laughs> uh, one, two, three. No, technically I guess I got five. Oh, okay. how do you still five? <laughs> okay, we were very off, obviously, when we said we were on five and five, five. like three draws ago. I'm not very good at math. <laughs> Bam, Hey, Germans. German dice. I'm gonna go with my first lieutenant or lieutenant and I'm uh, gonna bring him on the table. So we're gonna have them also run into cover. I feel like this is a good central position to issue orders from. You know what, I'm gonna go look up what the German word for lieutenant is, and I'm gonna try my darndest to pronounce it. <laughs> Ober Lieutenant? I believe it's the... Maybe? Maybe. <laughs> Other than that, I'm just gonna say lieutenant now. All right, go ahead. Come on, more German dice. Hey, thanks. All right, we're gonna go with my other machine gun infantry squad. Issue them a run order, and they're gonna run from the table edge into the building. So they're going to get on in there. Uh, and I'm gonna, on the first floor, there are well, there's a technically three windows on the first floor. I believe you can have like two guys shoot out of per the window. Standard size windows. Yeah. yeah. I got them all in there. I got the machine guns at the windows. It's a little more thematic. They got that run order on them. All right, it's about time for some Josh dice. Survey says Josh dice. Yep, we got it. No, dice. you cursed me. All right, Josh bringing on his sniper team. You got one sniper and one observer laying down, crawling prone onto the battlefield. Yeah, I'm trying to think if I want them somewhere other than here. It's all the farce. Turns out I do. I want them. Uh... We're gonna start drinking from the water trough. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I got two left. Got got four left. You got four. Ah, okay. Bam. Sure. Should be you. It's me. Hey. Let's have the inexperienced rifle squad go. In the truck. In the truck. 
bouncing up the battlefield. All right, you got one. Three left, I got two. It's gonna be you. I really need to see where your stoog's showing up. I need to see where that ex... Ah, oh, dang, that's my The AT gun? Yeah. yeah. I don't know, the AT gun, I want the experienced, I want your veteran truck. I want to see where that's I'm trying, show. To, I'm like, because yeah, I need to see the Stug <laughs> AT gun, don't pay attention. Well, I'm definitely going to order my veteran submachine guns to run on the field. I'm going to have them show up and go to about here with the run order. i got to remeasure that, but I think that's where they're, that's a vaguely what Approximately. It it's more like this. There we go. There they are. You got what, two, three left? Yep. All right, well, that's gonna be kind of hard. I think my student's gonna show up, unfortunately. It's you, all right, that's a step okay. in the right direction. Right. So this is your artillery guy. This is the artillery observer, correct. Uh, ooh. You know what, just gonna show up, uh, hanging out back over here. All right, behind that tree. <laughs> Way back there. We're getting there. Yep, we got three dice left. Show me a taco cat. It's no. just die. All right, so that's okay. That's good. Now I just need you to get that one more time. Uh, yep. Interesting. Going for the mortar. Let's go, go veteran truck. Oh, I don't like that. I don't love that. Okay. I should have brought my T thirty four on. Well, I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad I got both my submachine guns over here because that's gonna be a hard squad for me to deal with. All right, buddy. Last, uh, last paradise. Fifty fifty. Ba bam. It's me. All right. Come on, Mr. Stug. Order uh, an advance on the tracked vehicle, which can move nine, and it can drive over the fence. Uh, I'm trying to bait on, with an advance, I'm able to move and fire its weapons. Now, I'm trying to bait on the actual best target. That's a soft skin vehicle, so my anti-tank shell. Is, no armor is best armor. No armor is best armor, because the shell is so powerful, it'll literally just go right through the vehicle and might cause superficial, it'll cause superficial damage. Yeah. I'd put a giant hole through like the door. The, the canvas or right. the, the, the wood on the side of it. Exactly, right? They're like, it's it's you not- You could, you could just destroy it. But, but if it does hit, it destroys it. Not destroys it, but it probably will destroy it. Uh, looking at my other targets, we got partisans, a uh, medium machine gun, partisans, and a mortar team over there behind woods, like, or another less important transport. So I think my best bet is still to just drive over this. We're gonna end up somewhere around here. I'll measure that in a second. And then we're just going to uh, crack a shot. Like, we're gonna see some of the first fire in the game. I can't believe they didn't see the Stug. <laughs> Driving over the fence, ending there. Uh, we're gonna fire both the medium machine gun and the the turret or the, the anti-tank. I think it's a medium anti-tank gun? Medium anti-tank gun at the, uh, <laughs> the truck over there, the transport. So to fire this off, we have to figure out the negative modifiers here. Uh, we're gonna give them soft cover, so it's negative one to hit and then over half range for the medium machine gun, so a further negative one to hit, and I moved and I'm firing, so a further negative one there. I'll oh, we'll start with the medium machine gun. We'll light him up there, get some, uh, uh, what's, what's the term? Ranging shots? You go for some <laughs> ranging shots? Oh no. The Germans here have the MG42s. I assume it's an MG42 mounted on that. We have a better machine guns, typically. We get extra shots on ours. We have a medium machine gun, it's the buzzsaw rule. We're hitting on, so three's normally minus three, so sixes. Ha! We got no hits with the medium machine gun. Overall, pretty poo rule. One single shot with the uh, main gun there. Uh, should be negative two, so we miss. All okay, right, not bad. Good. And the last die would be your anti-tank gun. My anti-gun rules on the board. Well, you found the home for the anti-tank gun over here near the East Troughs. Indeed. <laughs> or not East Troughs, the Troughs. Uh, you know, shooting down tables, got the Stug in sight over here. And that's it for the first turn. That's it. Yeah, we got some uh, early shots with the stew. Not really expecting much of it. Not really, not too much damage typically in the first turn. There can be, but there, yeah, but usually there's not a ton. Of, it's not the you know first turn get shot up really bad, feel bad, and lose something important. Right. So, oh, now is when the battle starts. Yeah, now we're on the second battle round of you said six, and it could be six, seven. Six, but potentially seven. Yeah. All right, second battle round. Start the second turn here. Let's see. Back to dike grabbing, yeah. What we can get going on here. Um, I'm pretty okay with everything, anything happening at this point. I'm super anxious all the time about everything. So. <laughs> I really probably want to pull one of mine first. So it's going to be me. Hey, all right. Russians. Right on the anti-tank gun. Yeah, let's fire that uh, medium AT gun at the Stug. Alrighty. Medium AT gun is 60 inch range. Fun thing about this game, there's no pre-measuring. Oh, that's right, yeah, yeah. So I need to go ahead and just check range. Are you within 60? Yes. But am I within 30? No. no. <laughs> so I do get the long range penalty. So I'll be hitting you on a four. Okay. Oh. Don't roll a four. It's there six. it is. Right, Bam. Hit me. Oh, no. 
All right, I'm a little overly excited about this. Now, bolt action, there's no toughness values or anything like that, but we do have your damage value. So for a medium tank is what you're classed at, it's a nine up on my D6 to damage you. Uh, I get minus one to that roll because of long range, plus one to the roll because of armor, and then a grand total of the medium AT gun gives me plus five against armored targets. Alrighty. So I'm looking for a four. Looking for a four to hurt him, yeah. Oh! Oh no! Oh, he penetrated through his army to do some damage. Uh, hopefully it's superficial still. Ooh. All right, we gotta roll on the vehicle damage chart here. Right, so the, the full damage chart, you can be stunned, immobilized, on fire, or knocked out. Yep, I don't want the four up. I don't think Show I want- Show me the four up! Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, you broke him. So the tank is knocked out. The round goes through, hits, hits something, something critical, yeah. And one uh, shot, is destroyed. one kill. Well, I suppose I don't have to put a pin marker on him. I was going to. He is out of here, folks. This is a 276 point unit just destroyed by like a 70 point. 75? Yeah. It was, you shouldn't fight the Russians. You shouldn't fight the Russians. To give you an idea, the odds of that was wild. It was like a four to hit, yes. and then a five to hurt, and then another four up to destroy. I am very sad. I'm yeah, now if I hadn't matched the armor, it would have been superficial damage, which would have still been something on the chart, but I could not have possibly destroyed you. Correct, it would have been like... I could have uh, given you extra pin markers, I could have messed with the gun, I could have stunned the crew. Then one of my dice is out of the bag now, so I only got six activations. But you know what? Paratroopers aren't used to having tank support anyways, it's okay. They don't mind. <laughs> your silence is deafening. It is your order, sir! Huzzah! We are going to order these infantry with the medium machine guns to advance. They're gonna move forward, take a better position behind the sandbags, and shoot guns. And we are gonna put all the shots uh, that we will have range on into Josh's medium machine gun beside the woods. Okay. After measuring, only the two light machine guns are in range. That's what I expected, though. Uh, we're gonna have two of the riflemen act as the loaders to hold the chains of ammunition as it fires. It's gonna be 10 shots. It's gonna be negative three to hit because I'm, I'm moving and firing them. I am firing through light cover or soft cover in the fence and they're over half range. So six, we got a hit. That's all we really need because we just wanted a pin. Uh, they are, what's their training? Uh, they are experienced or they're regular, but they do have the gun shield to make it one more difficult. Okay, so fives to hurt. Nope, but we do have a pin marker on them. So we got somewhere with that. And that's what a pin marker looks like. It just ticks up as they take more pin markers. It's just harder to perform orders when they're under fire. Yeah, so the way this is going to work when it eventually comes up, might as well talk about it now, and why pins are super duper important. Um, when you're taking fire from the enemy, you might not go through with your orders that well. So when I want to go to activate them, I will have to take a uh, test for them. Right. An order test to see. And for each pin marker I have on me, which I get one pin marker per squad that hits me, doesn't have to cause any damage, um, it's one more difficult on the test. Pulling dice out of the bag, it is going to be... Russian activation. Good old... Looking at my options, uh, not feeling great about being on this truck, I'm going to be ordering the squad on board the truck to advance out of it. Bravely hopping out of the truck, and let's uh, put some fire into the Germans in the building there. 12 rifle shots into the building. Right, uh, now you are going to get hardcover from the building. So it's too more difficult to hit, and I didn't move, so I'm looking for sixes. Yeah, I'm not going to go down, so hopefully I, the building protects. All right, so it's going to be difficult to hit anything. Uh, I am inexperienced. Uh, I moved, and you have the cover, so I need sixes to hit. Uh, it's technically sevens to hit, so i got to roll sixes into sixes. Yeah, they have sixes into sixes in this game if you have to roll higher than a six to hit. Pretty much saying it's next to impossible. That's a good start, though. It's a very solid start. Uh, there's a good. one... Good, good uh, chance we'll get a six. No, no, no hits. All right, we duck, take cover, building protects, we're good. Not ideal, not no. ideal, but that's okay. Uh, that stew shot was the ideal one. Yeah, yeah, it was <laughs> pretty good. Uh, we're gonna pull another die, and it is a Luca. Mm. Uh, we're gonna just do a fire order on my mortar, I suppose. And I'm gonna use a spotter for line of sight, so the spotter again is in this building, uh, looking, it was actually right there, looking out. Uh, we are actually going to target the medium machine gun. I want to go for the okay. the Soviet mortar, but it's out of range, so our mortars are out of range of each other. So we're going to take a shot at the medium machine gun there, and the way this works is you have to kind of range your shots, figure out where, you have to gauge where it's going to land and wind speed and all that stuff. So to represent this, I roll a d6, and the first one to hit, I need a six to hit. 
Okay. Okay, <laughs> you nailed it. <laughs> okay. Wow. Now that means that you will continue to hit that unit every single turn automatically if you continue to shoot because they're right bang on target. Yeah, and uh, they yeah they know exactly where to put the mortar. Now that will get messed up if Josh decides to move his medium machine gun. But we have to resolve the mortar shot. They apparently don't get the gun shield against the mortar shell raining down above, yeah, which makes sense. Yeah, it's only basically direct fire coming from the front there. So, we're gonna, they're regular, we need fours to wound them. We do wound one of them. One kill of them a man three. off. I kill one man, and then because, uh, well, it's a mortar, it does, it applies D3 pin markers. Yes, sir. And they're gonna be pinned three more times, instead of Woo! one. So they have four pin markers, and there's uh, two of them left to man the gun. Is that a, It's a three-man team, right? It's yeah, a three-man team. Okay. So there should be no negatives yet until there's one guy left. And it's not a morale check yet for that team. That's it. it. Gonna lose half or more. That's it for my activation. Well, uh, let's go ahead and get a dice out of the bag. And it shall be... All right. Soviet order. Next up, I'm gonna have my sniper go. He's gonna advance. So he's hopping into the building. First floor. First floor. And then gonna take a pot shot out of it. All right, who's shooting at? Uh, I think I want to shoot at the squad inside of the building here. Ooh, all right. And being snipers, they ignore pretty much all modifiers when they fire? Uh, they don't, they, they, they ignore the modifiers that you have on you, not the ones I have on me, so I do have to, um, take the move and shoot penalty. Okay. Looking for a four. It's a miss. Back to the dice bag. Pulling out. That is a order for the Germans. I'm going to order the infantry squad in this building to simply fire. Uh, they're in a good position, and we are going to lock that down. Boom. Uh, we're going to fire into the inexperienced troop squad right in front of me. Yep. That'll... i got three windows out front I can fire out of into that inexperienced infantry squad, so I'm going to put two light machine guns in one of them, and then we're going to do two rifles, two rifles. So it'll be four, four rifles, two mini machine guns. So the rifles should just be hitting on threes. We didn't move, we're in half range. Your machine gun should be hitting on threes as well. The machine guns will also be hitting, yeah, geez, we're, we're gonna light them up. Oh, geez, that's all hits with rifles. Uh, you get two chances to... That's right. Oh, no, sorry, that's on when you go to damage. Is that, is that for damage? Yeah. So they're inexperienced, I think I wound them on threes. Okay, that could roll into a six. It does not. Oh, so we have three... Casualties so far. Three casualties so far, and then 10 light machine gun shots, which is threes to light them up. Okay, we got, that's average. And then threes to wound. And that's another uh, uh, six dead. And that's one, one pin marker. <laughs> but it's a morale check as well. Well, I took my pin marker. And uh, we gotta check a uh, morale test here. They are inexperienced, and then that's a morale of eight, but then uh, minus one for the pin marker. So I'm looking to roll a seven or less here for keeping them around. Six, they're sticking around. They don't lose the pin marker on that, it's only on orders. It's on succeed. orders that they'll lose it, yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, that's uh, you could shoot in their text. It is going to be one of my orders. Partisans are going to go for a little jog. Tend to there. And, uh, trying to get behind a little bit of cover. <laughs> that's it for them. Likely to see another Soviet here, and it shall be yes, a indeed. Soviet order. I think that'll be these partisans here. They're going to order in advance, and they're just going to go grab this cover. Just advancing or running? Sorry, running. Yeah, running. Trying my best to overwhelm the Germans. It shall be a German order. Okay, this submachine gun unit is going to run. They're going to run into this building. Oh, there they are, in the building there. And that's it for their activation. Back to the dice bag. It shall be you, Soviet order. Uh, not liking what's happening, where you're simply going to be backing this truck up. Many more Soviet dice to go through. Yes. Yes, you should have brought more men. I, I should have. I am regretting, <laughs> regretting a little bit of my army building decisions. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Though. Now, I will say in the test game, that, that Stug was very effective in the beginning of the game. At the then. very beginning of the test game, yeah. I have, I have a general rule of thumb, and I, I realized that I remembered it. I was too focused on other things. I never like to bring anything that is more than 25% of my list. And the second he died, I'm like, that's right. That's why I, <laughs> that's why I don't do that. So I, I would have rather had more veteran infantry. That's okay. It's fine. I'm doing okay still.
MG team. Uh, oh, I guess I gotta do an order test. Yes. Oh no! They have uh, oh, they have a lot of pin markers on. They them. They have many pin markers on them. Ooh, they might decide. To I could to go try down. to see now. I could try to rally. But that means they don't move this. Time. <sighs> and then they continue just to take mortars. It's a weird position. Okay. And they're regular too, so they're sh they should only be leadership. Oh, but they're near an officer. They are near the officer. All right, let's roll up to see here. So I'm regular morale. Uh, so that will bring me to nine. Plus one for the LT nearby, brings me to 10, then minus uh, four for all the pin markers. Six, you roll a six or less to pass this. Ah, uh, nice. There it is. Very good. And he, they're just gonna drag that gun backwards a little bit. And they lose one of their pin markers too for succeeding on an order. That they do. I'm back to the dice bag. Now for everybody wondering, uh, Bolt Action does have super sweet order dice. It, Josh brought too many units so I brought them. I, I may have brought more units than dice I own. Yeah. So I need to go get some more dice. Hey, it's me. We're going to order the Uber Lieutenant <laughs> to not fire, but to move. Just to advance. I mean, I could do run. I don't plan on firing because I have nothing in range. But we're going to go... Oh, that's a good question. Where do they go? Uh, put them right up there. They have, a, they have AR, so they have a little bit longer range. But from this point, it's not super effective. Oh, I should keep that beside them. No scratch that I forgot there was a sniper team in this building. That's gonna be hard because I move, but they're assault weapons. They ignore the moving and firing penalty? You ignore the moving and firing penalty, but you not the range penalty. don't ignore the range penalty, the small team penalty either. That's correct. So it's negative two to hit because I moved and over half range. Oh, and because they're in a building, it's minus two. So we're looking for sixes to hit. Uh, which, sorry, sevens to hit, which means I need to roll these sixes into sixes. Oh, we go! Oh, oh no! We actually bam, bam! Yeah, well, the ARs. Uh, I'm veterans in a building, so it's sixes to kill. Okay. So it's a pin marker, though. Neat. That was some good rolling. Would have been better if I killed the guy, but I'm okay with putting a pin marker. I expected nothing, so I got a pin marker. That's, yeah, that's okay I didn't think me. you get a, anything out of that. So that's, yeah, we got a Soviet die. Soviet order. We'll go for the artillery observer, which will observe some Germans. And I'm gonna be putting the blip down right here. I'm gonna order artillery barrage there. Now, how does this work? So I roll at the beginning of every turn to see if it comes in or not. I'm not ready. I only got one die left in there. There's a bunch of Soviet ones in there still. There's a whole whack of Soviet ones. Yeah, you only got one left. I got just this, uh, it's you. I will try firing my mortar at this building right ahead here. Cause I don't really have any way to dig them out of there. Right, and it's a double, I'm a little safe in there cause it's a double level building too. The mortar shell might get stuck on top. Right, so let's see if I can land a mortar shell there first. I Not don't. Not quite, but next turn it'll be hitting on fives. That's how it works. Cause we didn't get to show it earlier cause I just rolled the six <laughs> to just hit. just nailed it. Yeah, so it goes down one time. Every, every time you shoot at the same target, it gets one easier to hit. Continuing with the dice, it shall be. All right. The Soviets. Makes sense. Partisans shall advance. Running up to the Sorry, fence. I guess, yeah. Up and around the trees as well. Interesting. We're in <laughs> a firefight right here. All right, they're there. Running. And last, well, last few dice, I guess. Soviet. <laughs> the LT will just simply observe what's going on and take a day in order. It's going to be okay. You so again. We, truck will just advance. Are they allowed to disembark after it moves? I can, as long as I don't give it a run. Okay, cool. All of you! What do you got left? How many dice? Is there two in there or three in there? Feels like there's three dice in here. Okay. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. Me. It's Luca. We are going to activate... Well, the last unit I have here, they're going to go and take a position in the woods. We're going to move six inches into it. We're going to fire at the only target we really can, which is that truck. If... Well, we should have range on most of them. It's going to be kind of hard to hit them. We moved. Oh, well, they're assault weapons. They don't care about that. But we're over half range. We're all within 12 inches, so it's going to be 10 shots, hitting on four as it should be. Can't light it up with bullets. Okay, we got a bunch of hits, and it's soft. So soft I need skin vehicle, sixes. Sixes. We got, uh, whatever that is, we got something. I guess it gets a pit. Does, do they get pin markers? Yeah. All right, apparently this transport's so light, it could just be destroyed. They suffer full damage every time. Uh, I, guess I, I guess I can't technically roll higher than a six, because it can't be penetrated. Anyways. It is all one. So crew stunned. I place a down order token on the vehicle or change its current dice to a down. And it's halted, can take further action. Okay, well that's not bad. And he will also take a second pin marker, which is it's just there. It takes up to two on there. And the crew inside have a pin marker on them. It's just on the side table. So we'll show when they 
when they get out. Uh, you don't even have to pull dice. You got your activations. Are it's left. my orders. Yeah, he's got two Soviet dice. So it's your tank off to the side and yeah. the veterans inside of the transport here. Order him down in the transport. Or sorry, the veterans are going to be ordered to try to uh, advance. Advance out of the transport. So they should be. Are they Lucia of ten as or are they? They are veterans. Okay, yes. yeah. so Lucia of ten down to nine because of the pin marker, and they are freaking out. Okay, they just go down. They just stay in the transport. Yeah, they're 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 okay. They're like, no, we're not we're not getting it. That's pretty big for me. All right, first things first, before we start pulling dice, we got an artillery barrage that was called upon the German forces. We're going to go ahead and roll this. It is kind of random, so we'll figure out what happens. All right, so before any dice are pulled, I got to roll on the chart. I think the lower is better for me. Two, that's a delay. Oh. So the player making the barrage can move the token up to 12 inches and a roll again at the beginning of the next turn. Okay, uh, do you want to move it? I will move it there. All right. Hopefully it never shows up. <laughs> Delayed orders. All right, drop a die. Time for dice out of the bag. It's gonna be most likely you, but could be me. Hey, it's you. It's me. I'm going to try to get my uh, submachine gun squad, my shock squad out of this uh, truck. Okay. They're out. Hey, they lose their pin marker as well. Out they get. They are advancing, which means they're able to fire. Light up those fellows in the woods there. All right, we got the woods helping us a wee bit, just light cover. That was a negative one to hit. Are you within half range? I am within half range, yeah. Okay. And some machine guns are assault weapons, so they ignore the moving and firing penalty. Looking for fours to hit you. Rat tat tat. And fives to hurt. Veterans, fives to kill you. I got three. Although you can roll the six for exceptional, yeah. correct. It is exceptional. I will kill your NCO, but on a two-up, you don't actually lose them because of the German rule. The Germans tell their plans to all soldiers. Oh, wow. Okay, you do kill my NCO. I don't have an NCO over here anymore. So three guys are dead, including him. That's a leadership as well. It's a morale check. The NCO is that guy. And we'll pull... I guess we'll pull these two? Yeah, pull those two. And they have a pin marker on them. But they're Germans. They're stubborn. They don't care about the pin marker when they go to do morale checks. They're fine. All right, next die. It shall be me. the Germans. I'm going to activate my mortar, my medium mortar team. We're going to try and put a shot onto the anti-tank gun. Okay. Why not? Because it does have a HE shell that could start messing up my infantry a little bit. On a six. Nope, we miss. So for next turn, it'll be a five. But I say it is the Soviets. These partisans are just going to fire into that building there. All right. Should be maybe range and the hard cover for negative. Oh, or I assume they're in experience as well. They are, yeah. Probably. And I will take the range penalty as well. So sixes and the sixes. Come on, just pin somebody down. Keep one, their heads down. Maybe one hit? No. Nope. What's it going to be? You. Soviets. Let's go with the mortar again, trying to drop shells onto it. I think it was this squad that I tried. Correct. So looking for a five to hit him now. Oh, we got him with a six. All right. Woo! Well, I'm not going to go down. I'm not too... I'd rather just... Uh, they haven't activated yet. So... <sighs> we have to see if the shell hits the second level or if it penetrates through that and hits the ground level they're on. All right. We're only to see if it explodes on the top floor if it penetrates through. On a four up, it's hitting the top floor and won't do anything to Luca. Oh. No, it goes down to the ground floor. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Looking for D6 hits versus targets and buildings. Perfect. Six. Uh-oh. Looking for sixes, though, with you being veterans and all that. I got one. Could be exceptional. Uh, I don't think so on the oh. cheese. I don't... Oh, you know, I don't know what I'm rolling for. <laughs> for potential happiness. Then D3 pins for two. Don't actually get the bonus uh, to my... to wound value, I suppose? Yeah. Uh, wounding me on fives. The HE ignores that, so I'm just going to take one more rifleman out of there. Because there's one more five in the pool. There's a six and a five. Okay. Back to the dice bag. It shall be Soviets. Sniper will try to go and put a shot into that unit in the building, I think. Or actually, no, let's go ahead and shoot at your command group. Okay. Leadership uh, check. Yes, sir. They are fine to do that, and they lose their pin marker. Just looking for a three to hit. I do hit. And then the, the way that this works is it's always exceptional. Okay. So targeting your boss man. I'm uh, looking for a five. I don't get them. But at least there's one more pin marker on them. Dice out of the bag. 
it shall be Soviets again. Machine gun is just going to try to rally, so it ignores the pin markers. Uh, I'm basically looking for leadership 10 with the boss nearby. Yeah, so they're going to lose, I believe it's D6. So, the pins are gone. To even get the Soviet assault going, it's going to be the Germans. I'm activating this infantry squad here, and they're going to fire. Oh, which one? And they're going to put everything, oh jeez, they're just going to put everything to the inexperienced squad right in front of them. Now the Persians will, uh, they're going to grab some, they're going to go down. They're going to go take some, uh, negative two to hit for going down. Could be negative four to hit for the rifles. And I got to figure out how many are in there. Five rifle shots on sixes into sixes. They all miss and we have 10 light machine gun shots. Looking for uh, the six hits. It should be because it should be negative three. Yep. So we have one hit with the light machine gun and it doesn't kill them, but they get a pin marker on them. That's it. Go back to the dice bag. It is... Soviets again. I think what we're gonna have to do is have these guys actually. Ugh. Let's order these guys. They're gonna run. Run, run. All right. I do owe you a little test there. They only got the one pin marker on them though. Uh, leadership eight down to seven. Mm. Oh, they're. I guess they'll, they'll just go down. They're fine with where they're at. Absolutely. I believe. You continuing so? We're gonna advance. Advance the partisans. Up to the sandbags. Six rifle shots. Well, they moved. It's sixes into sixes with all the modifiers. It's hardcover, moving, probably over half range. I assume, maybe not. Um, the front ones won't be over half range. And they're inexperienced too, so that even without the uh, it's sixes into sixes. Yeah. Just generate pins, please. Nope, not quite. More dice. B. Hey, the German. We come over to these submachine gun boys here. We are going to order an advance. I think they actually fail. Wait, no, they're veterans. They, yeah, they only you only have, have the one pin. They only have one pin marker. They actually pass. They're okay. Move up to the edge of the woods and fire at the veterans in front of them. It's four shots. Gosh, that the NCO is killed. That means they suffer a, neg a permanent negative penalty to their their morale value there. So they're actually just going to go down instead. Keep their pin marker as well. Next up, Soviets. The Soviet truck is going to end up trying to get out of Dodge. Hmm. I got leadership seven. Yes. Only going to there, but I will take the pivot. All right, that's where it ends up. Bag time. Germans. Me. We'll take a shot in the dark, and we're going to declare an assault with the submachine sub gun guys in the building. We're in advance. Oh, that, I guess they declare a run, technically. Yeah, you say you're advancing as part of it, and you just gotta yeah. check your distance, which, yeah. Yeah, we know it's in range. They're gonna come leave this part of the building and charge the submachine guns over here. All right, it's not the best odds, but if it works out, it's pretty valuable. Now, you have a rule where you all, arm to the teeth, you always fight first. No, 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 so arm to the teeth means that if I charge, I always get to swing first. Okay. So you still get to swing first normally. That's only when I'm assaulting you and you're in some kind of uh, obstacle or something Gotcha, like okay, so like throw grenades and pin me or something like that. They, they do something to make ensure that they yeah. get the first swing. To clarify how this works for everybody, um, the charging unit swings first, does all their casualties, then the defending unit gets to swing. Um, but if you charge somebody that is behind obstacles or things like that, then it's simultaneous. My guys have a rule that if they are the charging unit, they always just swing first, regardless of obstacles. But since Luke is assaulting me, he gets to swing first. They're veterans, so I need fives to hurt them. And then every every wound, because they're tough fighters, can trigger additional wounds. Yeah, and getting that bonus because of the submachine guns. Yes, uh, the sixes don't do exceptional damage, do they? I don't believe so, no. Okay. Kills off four. Yeah, it's one more than I thought. I only expected to kill three, so killing off half of you is pretty good. They get to swing back now. I was hoping to kill one or two of them with them and then get the three damage with these yep. guys, but in the end I got the same amount I wanted even though they failed their leadership. Four guys left on uh, fives. Just looking for fives because you're veterans. You're good at fighting like this. I kill Ooh. two. And then you get the same thing where you do more Some machine explosions. guns. Yeah. No, only two. So I lose. Oh, where's my NCO? Uh, there he is. He's over there. So I lose two. I guess I'll just lose you and you. Now, the, the way this works is after we fought one round of combat, whoever's taking the most casualties loses and just gets wiped out. Yep, yeah, it's pretty much it. it just, it's assumed that 
the, that same kind of result would keep happening, I guess? Or? Well, the momentum kind of, you just kind of, you, right. you run me over and All right, well, that, me. that worked out quite well. They get a consolidation D6 move, but one inch. Well, we're just going to go to right here then. Hey. We'll keep that order on them. Then it's bag of dice time. Bag of dice. Ha! Me again. again. Okay. All I have left are my officer's unit and these infantry here. They got beat up pretty bad in that building. That mortar's going to be hitting a square on every time now, so I am going to order an advance to get out of this building and fire some guns. But they do have a leadership to make. They're fine. So they go down to one pin marker. They'll come scrambling out like so. We're going to uh -oh. <laughs> put their shots into the partisans because these guys are already down and there's negative two to hit, so I might as well put pin markers on them. It's going to be sixes into sixes to hit either one of these units because it's negative one to hit for the pin marker on them as well. Three rifles, because the other ones are going to be help uh, help with loading. They all miss. The light machine guns all miss as well. And after them, we got dice bag. I only have one more unit to activate. Soviets! Truck uh, will continue to try to, to go not here. Leaving. Go back six. I think it's 90 degree pivot. Next die. Ah, you. I'll be trying to order the tank onto the board with an advance. Minus one leadership uh, penalty. So my nine is down to an eight. Why is it minus? Oh, okay. Uh, just that's from any coming on from reserves. Oh, they make it. I'm gonna roll him onto the board right there. Ready for a f Start off with the heavy anti-tank gun, trying to throw a blast into that squad there. Oof. Uh, I'll be getting the moving and uh, cover penalties. Right. Looking for a six. Come on, buddy. Oof. There it is. Beautiful. <laughs> Two inch blast, let's see how many guys I can hit. I'm gonna get four hits out of that, looking for fives to kill. Two of them. All right, two dead. Uh, you and you. I'm put D3 pins on you. For one. No, all right. And two medium machine guns shooting at you. Two hits. And fives. Oh, one more dead. Ooh. That's a morale. Probably. They're, bad. They're okay, though. Not many dice left. It is the Germans. Last activation. I'm gonna stand still and fire with them. You know, order a fire. I was gonna, I wanted to leave uh, the bunker, but there's a heavy machine gun, an anti tank gun right there that could fire at them, so there's not much value in doing that. So we're gonna stand still, put six shots into the partisans who are already down, because it's gonna be six to hit them anyways, uh, because we're over half range. We got a hit. And then does it kill one? It does. And after that, we just have Josh's activation, so he can do this in whatever order he wants. Ng Tank Gun is just going to be moving himself over, get so he won't position. be shooting. Yep, just get into a better position. Avoid the mortars on him. The other two aren't doing much. Yeah, the Lieutenant and the Artillery Observer aren't doing anything. All right, so that's the end of the third battle round. We're going on to the fourth one. If yeah. something happens to a transport. Yeah, with, with an empty transport, he's not there to fight. Since he's closer to enemies than he is to friendlies, it's assumed he abandons it, drives it off, whatever it can, is being destroyed. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens with this artillery barrage. Again, rolling on the chart. Looking for a four up. We got it. Barrage coming in. All right, what's happening? The way this works now is I roll, and every unit, friend and foe, within D6 plus six of the aiming point oh. is going to be affected by this. Now, the Soviets' uh, special rule with their big old massive artillery batteries, I get to roll 2D6 and pick the highest dice. All right. Well, this is going to be a pretty big radius. So it's going to be 10 inches, yeah. which will hit my officer, my infantry squad, and my spotter as well. Okay, well, one, we gotta, we're going to roll for them first, the officer, but I have to see... I forgot to roll for their leadership when they went to go fire last turn. They're fine. Yeah, insanely brave. They, they get to remove Yeah. So, the same results happen. They just don't have the pin marker on them right yep, now. Okay, so how many pins on to the... we got to roll for them. Yeah? Yeah. D3, so they take one pin. Uh, I think that's the D6 roll for the... Are they... Oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah. So, how many pins? One. One, okay. Back to one. And then this unit here on a six, they're hit. Nope. And they take D3 pins. One. And then we'll just go for the spotter as well, I suppose. D3 pins. One. one. So pin, pin, pin. Uh, is he able to use the spotter ability while pinned? Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. You're fine. Right, well, they're all pinned up. Once per I was hoping for a lot more pins, but uh, a couple pins are always good. I said, yeah, I, well, it should have been 2 2 2, right? It would have been ideal. All right. First die of Dice the battle. Big. Oh, it's me. It's the Germans, I know. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. 
Yeah, I think the, these guys are in the most precarious spot, so we'll see what they can do with them. I'll declare a run, which will be a charge. Go for the assault. I will try to reaction fire. Ah, uh, the, they're the target, by the way. I think it's the only real deal target. Yeah. yeah. Okay, reaction fire. Did they, have, did they have to do a leadership? Is it like an order thing, or...? Scratch like, that surprise <laughs> charge. You're within six, so I can't declare the uh, reaction fire. Okay. Then I just charge? You just charge. All right. Well, let's get that light machine gun in there and uh, club a Russian over the head with it, I guess. <laughs> I keep forgetting, I do a check to see if they can even do that order. They have two pin markers on them. They do. So go down to one pin marker. None of these boys have assault weapons, uh, but we are wounding the inexperienced infantry squad on threes. We kill all three of them. Yep. All right, so we got them, and then we do a D6 move after combat. Five. That's pretty impressive. I'm going to go right up to the sandbags, I think. I don't know if that's the right call or not, but we'll find out shortly. You know, there might not be much merit in going up to the sandbags. I think that just gives Josh's Soviets the option to charge me with the partisans. So I, I go there. I'll go there instead. I'm also going to spread them out because of uh, HE weapons. So that's all within my five inches. From there, we have another die. Okay. It shall be you Soviets. Calling an advance on the T-34. So one pivot, then boop, 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 nine. And I will turn that turret towards you. Absolutely. Turns out that bad boy's glued in there pretty good, but he is still able to, sorry, turn the turret and shoot. Start by throwing an HE shell on you. Uh, should be... Fours, because of fours, moving. Yeah. Oh, geez. Huzzah. Please. <laughs> All right. Maybe three hits. Maybe fives. Oh, he's two dead right there. Leadership on them, they're fine, because they're stubborn, being Germans. Uh, the, the paratroopers, specifically. Yeah, the fall, oh, the Falschmager here. Uh, okay. Let's look at the machine gun to go. Oh yeah, I have to pull two guys, eh? I guess I'll lose you in a machine gun. Machine gun's looking for forwards as well. Three hits, oof. Super brutal. Fives to kill. <laughs> I got them. They're, I guess they're dead. All right, dice time. I'm not gonna lie, I spend, every time I, I just stare at the table and Luca has to remind me to pull a dice. Yep. So, it's getting a little <laughs> embarrassing. I believe in you. You get there. You. Let's go mortar. Pew! Right in the middle there. Um, I do have a spotter here. Yes. Give me a lot of sight. Got sight, sight on them, so we need a six to hit. First shot at them. Okay, it avoids it. They avoid it. It happened again. <laughs> you again. So it. Snipers will call in advance, and they're going to go up a level, and then uh, try to zing a shot at you. Why up a level? Uh, to make room on that bottom floor for the partisans to move in eventually. Gotcha. All right, firing at my officer unit? Oh, I think that's still my best option, so yes. All right, one shot, looking for a four because they moved. All right, it's a miss. Pew. Dice. Soviet. <laughs> All right. Uh, you know what? We're going to try to get these partisans into the building. You got to do an order for an advance or uh, yeah, run, whatever they need to do to get in there. Two. They are, oh, they're fine. Whew. Down to one pin marker. In the building they go with the run, and uh, it's dice time. And it's gonna be... Keep their one pin marker. Keep their on. one pin marker. Soviet! Oh, it's Soviet again. All right, let's see how this thing works. Let's throw some HE at that squad. Infantry squad. But I suppose just looking for regular modifiers to hit here. Didn't Standard move. Standard modifiers, yeah. Looks like we're probably in half range. Uh, I'll check it in a second, but... But I should be getting minus two for the uh, hardcover. Yep, never mind, just a big old miss. It's a direct fire. I'm thinking indirect stuff. Okay. Nice time. I got a bunch of activations still. Going through the Russians pretty quickly there. Me! I think we're going to order this submachine gun squad of infantry to uh, advance, and they're going to try and move to about here. So we have you go there, you go there, and you're going to end up about there, and you're going to lag behind a little bit. And they're going to fire into the, uh, the partisans here. Yep. Would you like to go down? Is there, no. It should be uh, negative three to hit, just as is. Yeah. And that's four over half range and shooting over the hardcover. We got a hit, and it murders one of them. But I'm. And one whole pit marker. Oh, that's it for my activation. I'm starting to get a little bit nervous. I think we've each got two kills. You've killed one of my units. Two of my units? A stook. Yeah, you killed two of my units. You. And these partisans are going to go. What's their plan? Oh, leadership first, I guess. Yeah. They are going to ground? Yep, they're, they're just going to go down. Okay. They didn't like the submachine gun fire. Nope. I wasn't. Oh, it's me. Jeez. Okay. 
Germans ordered this mortar to fire. I just don't know what I want to fire at is the issue. It's one of the weapons. I, I want to go for the anti-tank gun just because of the HE potential on it. The heavy machine gun I'm not super concerned about. It's that single shot getting through can be pretty devastating. But then again, I want to kind of force guys out of that building. So I think I know I'm going to bully the building. We're going to start targeting that building right there on a six. Oh, wow. No! All right, buildings, buildings lit up. So not enough. I think it's a four up to hit the top. Four up hits the top level. It hits the partisans underneath. <laughs> oh, cool. And they're ordered right now. Can they go to ground? They can't. No, they're already ordered. So six hits. Awesome. This is obviously the most veteran, regular uh, mortar team in the entire German army. That kills out. Uh, yep, they're all dead. Wow. I think. Yeah, there's uh, there's uh, five of them. Okay. That's uh, probably one of the best mortar shots you... I I probably probably couldn't get that mortar shot in 50 games. Why, why dumb. is that mortar so good? It's just dumb luck. <laughs> well, that's like the, the anti-tank shot from earlier in the game. Yeah. You! Me? Is it the machine gun? Oh, they're, is. they're advanced. Oh, they're changing their facing. Uh, oh, sure. oh, they're running. That's right. Yeah. They're just going to come. Uh, cover this section. I get that. I get that 100%. Picking up what I'm putting down? Yeah. yeah yikes. Poor machine guns. Or submachine guns. All right. Dice. Fix that facing. Fix the facing. Yeah. Yeah, Soviets! Truck. Can he leave the battlefield? I think there's certain missions you're allowed to, but for now he just hangs out there. He's going to hang out beside the mortar team? Yeah. yeah. Ensure his safety. Gotcha. Yeah, hey, guys. It's going to be hard to push back there for sure. All right, we have more dice. Du -du -du -du. It's you again. Oh, yes! Artisans are running. They know what's up. Oh, they're just leaving. Bye-bye. <laughs> well, it is much safer over there, I suppose. <laughs> yep. I, I'm not going to lie. I don't think if a T-3485 shows up and starts just blowing stuff up, I'm probably not going to stand in front of it. That's fair, yeah. Uh, uh, you just roll on through, buddy. I feel the same way. Or uh, is it me, finally? Hey! Well, not finally, I just went, but I feel like there's been a lot more Soviet activations. It's in my favor, of course. Okay, uh, I got these guys could go, or these guys could go. Oh, actually, yeah, you got a ton. I got three activations still, oddly enough. Think I'm just going to waste time a little bit more and order this <laughs> unit of infantry. Uh, to get out of those woods. If they pass, they do. Uh, they have only one pin marker on them, I believe. Yeah, just one pin marker. So they're actually, they go do down to eight with that because they lost their NCO, but they're still good. So they lose that pin marker and they're gonna get out of those woods. I'm just gonna go ahead and advance out of the woods there instead. So we... My artillery observer will observe. All right. Who is it gonna be? Is it gonna be me? Nope, still not me, okay. My officer's just gonna come hang out over here. More dice! It's gotta be pretty close to just only me at this point, somehow. Yeah, I'm feeling like there's too many dice in the bag, but we'll find out in a memento. Wow, well, me. There's just two of my activations left. I got my officers and the infantry squad here. Now the question is, I wanna fire my light machine guns at Josh's medium machine gun over there. I just don't know if I'm within 36 inches or not. It's an issue. I can move out of cover <laughs> and then guarantee that I probably am, but that puts them out of cover in a very suspicious position, uh, to be sure. I think that's what you I'm gonna stay here and fire at the anti-tank gun. Wow. Yeah. Unfortunately, one of the light machine guns has to... He's, he's pretty obscured by the building, like half obscured, so negative two for him, plus range, negative three. And then this guy, this light machine gun over here is going to be negative, uh, just the um, one for range and the light cover. You think you get I'll fire the rifles if I... I don't think I got... Oh, I might actually have rifles. Yeah, uh, only the front row, it looks like. What about the back guys? Yeah, no, you're fine. Okay, well, two of them can't fire because they got a load, but they might... None of them might fire, but they pass their leadership. And they are no longer pinned. That's just one marker. Yep. So one machine gun hitting on sixes. We got a hit. And then the other light. Oh, geez. Okay. <laughs> the other light machine gun hitting on fives. We got two hits so far. And then we have the rifles minus two because they're loaders. Five rifle shots. Oh, I do have to do these separate because some are going to be negative two. Some are, or some are hard cover, some are soft cover. Three are hard cover. Ah, oh, nothing. And then two soft cover. Oh, one more hit. So three hits all together. So that's one pin marker. And do you have the... Gun shield. Gun shield. So is it regular or... Right, uh, regular, so it goes to fives. Fives. You take uh, two damage. Oh, no. Oh, that's a morale check uh, with the pin marker on them. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, they're okay. But they only got one guy left, which is harder to operate the fixed gun. Negative one to hit, I believe, now. That was them firing. Uh, then the officer unit's my last activation. I'm going to... I just cannot justify running into the road when there's a T-34 right there. <laughs> so we're just, just do it. We're gonna sit here and just simply fire into the snipers on the second level of the building. 
Uh, we know we're more than half range. And then small team. Small. Oh, it is a small team. So we have six shots. So it's minus one for range, minus one for small team, and minus two for the hardcover. So sixes into sixes. Oh, we miss. Okay. Oh, leadership first. Oh, drop die. They're okay. So they lose their pin marker. It would have been a further negative one, but they don't have it there when they fire. Move dice. We're gonna, I guess we move that too. We're going to go to the fifth battle round. Okay, battle round five. We have one more guaranteed after this and maybe a seventh one. Okay. No! That's pretty good. It's a pretty good start. Well, I knew that I couldn't guarantee that was going to happen. I was debating on moving one of them out to hopefully get a double activation, but I guess we're going to hang out over here. But the more important, is it more important to fire at the mortar now? Oh, no, probably light up that stupid tank gun for sure. We're going to try and take them out with these guys here, I think. I did so much work on it last time, I might as well keep putting pin markers on it. So they're going to do the exact same thing. They don't have to move. We're going to fire into the anti-tank gun. One machine gun with sixes. We got a hit. And then the other one is fives. We've got three hits. I'm just gonna roll these. We kill him. Wow, three wounds. He's, he's gone. We one shot him. Look at that. Good job. Lots of bullets. Bullets work. Ha! Uh, you know, for as upset Luke was earlier about losing, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, if, if you guys can tell, I'm in my energy's down. I'm pissed at myself, not at Josh. I'm so angry. I brought a 25, a model that was over 25% of my list. It's a cardinal rule. I usually follow through and through, but I got distra I distracted myself. I That's distracted hilarious. myself. That's hilarious. Uh, we're gonna light these guys up. Right. Even though it's very unlikely Josh was gonna kill him, the, the risk was there, and I should not have done that. Please don't light me up. Over half, they don't have any pin markers, uh, so it's just fours. I don't think I'm gonna go down, I'm just gonna take it. Uh, and I'm not half, like barely, only like maybe two, I don't know. You got at least half, so you're gonna get the one. Oh, I do get at least half, okay, so negative, another, it's only light cover, or soft cover, so it's negative two to hit, so fives with your poultry right, medium machine that, gun. That, that. Oh, you got a couple hits, so oof. Fives to wound, they're veterans, or fives to kill. Oh, dang. Bang, bang. Oh, this is brutal. We're it's like mutilating each other here. Uh, my NCO is there. Oh, no, he's right there. So he'll die. And I suppose he will die. Yeah. And then they get a pin marker. And I also have to do morale. Morale. They're good. Fish. All right. What is happening now? You still have about double my active. Oh, you're getting close to double my activation still. Okay. Me again. Wild. Yeah, I'm going to go with them. I'm going to declare a run. I'm going to try to assault. Ooh, a nine. They are ten down to nine because of veterans. So you pass just barely. Just barely. I get my reaction fire though. Absolutely. Should only be negative two to hit here. Uh, pin marker and soft cover. We're in half range. You didn't move. You have to do. A you don't have to do a leadership check. Though, I do you? auto pass it, but I don't get to clear it. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So we have two hits. Okay, not a bad start. Does that put a pin marker on me? Uh, we'll figure that out in Ooh. a second. Ooh, the veterancy. They know, they know to keep their head down before they charge, obviously. Yup. Well, we're gonna go to there, we've already measured. Let's get to Foyton, and let's uh, resolve it. I got a whole two attacks. We fight at the same time, though, because I'm charging like a defensive position. Oh, wounding these partisans on threes, and these are uh, tough fighters because of the submachine guns. We kill three of them, but they okay. get to fight me at the same time with their five. Looking for fives. Yeah! Oh, you beat the crap out of them. That was a gamble. Oh, well, I killed three of them. It's nice. There's two left. Well, that was pretty bad for me. Pretty good for the partisans. Helps uh, bridge I'm the gap of killing stuff. Sufficiently gruntled. Your draw from the bag. Again. Is it me? Is it you? Oh, it's me again. Jeez. Okay. I care about the mortar. And he's going to fire at that building he targeted earlier. Mm, yep. Mm -hmm. You're just going to hit. Just going to hit the building. Four up to hit the top floor. I don't hit the top floor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hua. Ah! Soviet. I'm gonna go down a level. Boys, go down a level. Um, oh, there's a big part of me that wants to try to, no, okay, they're just on the other side there. Yeah, go down a level. Uh, take a shot on the way, uh, shoot at that command group. All right, four to hit. Miss. Oh, okay. Dice. Don't rush me, Luca. Dice. I'm getting stressed. Ah. Um, mortar, Josh is mortar on them on a five to hit. Yes. Oh. Yikes, uh-oh. Uh, all right, here we go. <laughs> you want seven guys hit here. Oof, yikes. Show me those fives. Yeah. Kills two. Uh, that's a pin marker as well, I believe. Oh, it's a uh, D3, D3 pin. Pins. It's actually a D3 pin. We're gonna lose you and you, I suppose. I'll keep you there because you're a little, oh, three pin markers, wild. That's not great. I thought it was fantastic. I gotta rectify that next turn. Aha, you again. 
Tank! Tank! Oh boy. Here we go. Are we firing at them? It's in veteran squad. Okay, so it should be fives to hit moving and minus, or six to hit moving and uh, minus two yeah. for the trench. We'll start with the blast. Oh, sandbag. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's gonna be five hits. Sorry, six hits. Six. We should have had one more hit last time. You see, you throw one more hit from the mortar. I forgot, I didn't count that guy. He would've been totally within two of him. Oh, okay. Uh, looking for fives. That's another dead. Uh, can that be no excessive? excessive? No. no. Okay. Uh, let's lose you, I suppose. D3 pens. One more. And then we get to machine guns. Just the one? That's. Yeah, no, I didn't roll enough dice at all. That's. Uh, you're missing I four, have dice. four dice. <laughs> yep. Same idea, hitting on sixes, nothing. All right. Still pretty good, though. Dice time. It shall be. Me. There's no real reason to be overly aggressive with these guys. They're just going to fire their ARs into the building at the snipers. Looking for sixes in the sixes, though. Ah. Ah. Nope. You, Parsons. I'm getting on the truck. Parsons are going to run onto the truck. This truck is going to hang out. Just keep it down. Truck. All right. There's going to be a truck in the corner. Me. We're going to... Run them. Here go three, and I'm, there's nowhere I could go and shoot because this bush is so high, so tall. So I'm just gonna run to the edge of the bush. The shrubbery. No one knows I'm here. So your activations. Not doing anything. Um, we're gonna have these guys just hoof it over this way. Is that the officers? Yeah, that's the officer and his uh, little friend. Okay. And the artillery observer's just gonna hang out uh, over this way. Alrighty. Well, that's it for the fifth battle round. We're going on to the potentially last one now. All right, here we go. Ah, oh, bad. That's good. That's, yeah, mortar, them. I am going to opt just to go to ground. Half the amount of hits? Yeah. So. Maybe three hits on them instead. Looking for fives. Hey, nice. Okay. Maybe three more pins. Two more. Oh, this is right. I got to worry about other stuff. Down, down, down they go. All right, next die. I can't expect myself to be doing too much the rest of this turn here. You. Snipers are going to leave the building, and then you know what? They're just taking off. They, uh, it's gonna run. Oh, uh, what's the? How many pins you get on that unit? Six. Yeah, six pins. <sighs> yep. Nope. We're just getting out. Leaving the building. And you again. Machine gun's gonna take an ambush order, so. He can react to Luca moving his units within the line of sight of him by shooting, oh. interrupting their movement. Okay, then. And then, ah, me. Okay. Let's see if this mortar can get lucky for a third time in a row. We're just going to put a mortar shot into the partisans in the trenches or in the sandbags. All day. <laughs> would you like to go, um, would you like to go down? There's only going to be one hit if you go down. Yep, sure. <laughs> You're not supposed to do that. And it, oh, it doesn't even kill the one guy. How yet. many pins, though? Ah, uh, three Stop. more. All right. All right, next die. I only have two activations left. Me. Tank's just going to sit still and shoot. Who's the target? Uh, this same squad I've been bullying. Okay. It sh so should be a pretty rough shot here. HE. Uh, I'm only hitting on five, though, I think. Uh, it's minus four because of this, and I went down. Oh, you're down, too. Maybe I won't shoot it, though. Yeah. Hmm. Never mind. Let's shoot your officer. They're going down. <laughs> Keep your heads down, boys. Safe. They can't shoot anything this turn, anyways. Miss. All right. Well, they need to go down. But like I said, I had I got machine guns too. That's true. Sir. Ten machine gun shots. Sixes. We got one maybe hit. And two. Oh, no. <laughs> like next to no action on this last turn. <laughs> ah, uh, down. All right. All right. It's the truck going down, or the guys inside, maybe. Doesn't matter. All right, who's next? The Let's truck. See. All right, so the partisans went down. The truck is going to do truck things in the corner. <sighs> yep. We got we got a artillery observer. We have a spotter. Oh, that's a mortar. The observer will uh, take off over this way. All right, he's going to run. Run. Could have gone further than that if you wanted to. I feel like that's a sufficient amount. Actually, okay. you want? Yeah, fine. There we go. Yeah, there we go. He's over there. All right, next die. As we, <laughs> we were obviously not accomplishing too much at all. Me. Well, the last activation I have is that team here. 
And uh, while well, I'm not going to get much value out of just hanging out here, or uh, sorry, out of moving out of there, so they're just going to go down as well. I don't need to die to a machine gun. Uh, these guys will advance. Aha! No, sorry. Aha! Oh boy. Hello. <laughs> Try and increase their leadership over there. Yep. All right, sweep of the battlefield. That was six battle rounds completed there. I believe Josh just told me it's a 50-50. Yep, that we have on a four up will continue. All right, we'll have one last battle round on a four up. Oh, we do, yikes, okay. Huzzah! All right, not bad, not bad. Well, Josh has got my dice and uh, battle round seven. Should be relatively quick, I suppose. Okay, yep. What did the mortar fire at last time? Oh yeah, these guys Same just veteran squad. these guys just do not get a chance to move. Are you gonna go down again? Because this gonna be five hits otherwise, and you probably could activate the tank again. Five hits isn't really gonna kill me. I don't. I can't afford the pin marks, but even if I don't, I'm getting the pin markers no matter what. But I need to like, I needed to. What I should have done last turn is just took the hits and rallied, yeah. and then moved. That's what I should have done. I, the, the second I said I was going down, I regret it. So I'm just gonna go down here anyways. And hopefully the pin markers don't put them to 10 or... It's only three? Yeah. So two die. Uh, I'm gonna lose... I'll lose them. I don't really matter. I'll lose a machine gun and a dude. Pin markers. D3. Another two. two is that eight? I need three more pin markers on them to get them out of here. Because I'm gonna at seven. Eight? eight? So two more. Oh, I said you have to get them yeah, to it. Okay. okay, so two more pin markers on them and then they're out of here. But they're down, so that should help. Next die. Uh, uh, you, no. Hank is just gonna fire at them. Yep. Well, they're down, so hopefully you miss <laughs> with the uh, the, the heavy uh, explosive. Well, we're gonna move up just to get a wee bit closer. Doesn't quite matter, he's hitting on sixes and sixes anyways. This looks cooler. Yeah, sure, makes sense. The blast! Big boom, six and a six. Okay, we avoid that, then 10 medium machine gun shots. Oh, one. Okay, maybe. Ready for maybe. it, ready for it, ready for it. I hit! No! Okay. no I would not. I had to lose one more for a morale check. Okay, well, we avoid the tank. And then another die from the bag. What's it gonna be? It's never me. <laughs> Pivot! And shoot. Oh, are these dudes over here? Yeah. All right, bring it on. Should be in range. Indeed. No problem for range? Good, difficult shots, though. Did sixes into sixes. Yeah. Oh, one potential hit. Not quite. Now it's me. Well, the only thing that really makes sense is the mortar into them, I think. Hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you could have, like, it, what, what is, well, how many pin markers do they have on them right now? Four. And their leadership seven up to eight right now. So it, it wasn't very likely they were going to be able to move. They would have gone down anyways. But if they go down now and they fail a morale check, maybe just maybe. Okay, we'll put a mortar in them. Should I, I see we're gonna go down. Yeah. So it's only one hit. Dang! Didn't get him. They have four pin markers on them. Yeah. So if I get a five or six. Oh no! They only get one more pin marker. All right, eight is inexperienced leadership, not seven. I thought it was seven for some reason. They were fine regardless. Next die. Josh. Burning activations. See ya. All to that corner. Josh again. Truck. Or partisans in the truck. Partisans right. in the truck. Next die. Me. Okay. Oh boy. I'm just going to go down on the officer's unit. Keep his head down. It's probably smarter. I realized I didn't stay in my ambush as I probably should have. <laughs> <laughs> they got distracted. Ha! Ah, crap. All right. Well, I can't do That means I can't really do anything. Uh, they're just going to go down. I was going to wait for them to activate, then poke my head out and try and take some shots, but I'm not going to risk losing them just to probably not accomplish anything. Right, and at this point, I don't think there's anything else I can do. Yeah, Josh is waiting for me to poke their heads um, out. I guess I got technically a sniper squad that can move over and put a shot. Might as well go for it. Ugh. Ugh. It's hitting on a four. That's actually pretty good, hitting on a four, but that won't put them over the... Uh... Yeah. yeah. That was a good fallback on to if they got to nine or something. What well, hits? And uh, my NCO, I guess, if you want to. Nope, doesn't kill them though. But we do take an additional pin marker up to nine. Right, I just went. I got lucky uh, on my misplay last turn again. I should have, I really should have rallied and then did a move on this turn, but I got nine pin markers on them, they're okay. The amount of models that were left didn't matter. <laughs> the, the fact that I need the units to stay alive, even with just the NCO. Okay, well, that's it for activations. I'm done, Josh is done. 
Uh, we have to go tally up the score for this game. We'll do that in a post game. Before Luke and I jump into the post game and look at the results, keep in mind for everybody watching, uh, make sure you leave a like, you subscribe, and most importantly, comment. We're going to be picking one lucky commenter to be winning the Bolt Action Band of Brothers starter set. It's the perfect way to get you and your buddy into Bolt Action. But fret not, even if you don't win it, uh, Silver Vault members will now be getting a 10% discount to everything on Warlord Games. So if you're a Silver Vault member, go ahead and check that out on the discount page. And if you're not, go to miniwargaming.com and look at the discount page anyways. The end of all this, uh, I was able to kill your Stug. Which felt good. Right away, yeah. <laughs> I killed one of your uh, Falschermager squads. Yeah, you killed the Falschermager with the uh, light machine guns and a Falschermager squad with uh, submachine guns. Right, so I ended up getting three kills out of that. So even though super punishing it felt for Luca, uh, didn't quite work out. And then Luca's kills is he got one partisan squad, uh, one inexperienced infantry squad, the anti-tank gun, a truck, and my... Uh, Storm Squad. Yeah. The so Luca ones. does kill two more, and that's a solid victory for him. Right. Uh, I feels like at what cost, though. It doesn't feel valuable. I may have won like this very minor battle, but in the end, I lost a lot of veterans and I lost a Stug. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's one of those. I mean, to, to, to declare the winner, but it's nice to feel like I got a lot of work done. It would have been a tie game if I could have put one more pin on the um, yeah. Maker Squad there, exactly, and yeah. that would have caused them just to run. So if I had concentrated on that more, like I could have had the partisans there zipping shots off at them, uh, which would, would have probably been the smarter play uh, if I had thought about that earlier. I didn't think I'd get them to 10 pins, but it, it was the mortar starting to hit that kind of made the difference. Yeah, the mortar direct hit and then me kind of jumping the gun and taking the down when I should not have taken the down, which is fine. It happens. you got to learn. I also would like to note that I knew I was ahead in point. I, I, I didn't expect them to get that many pins, so the reason I put the Falschermagers with the... Uh, the infantry squad with the submachine guns into them is because I knew I could risk one more squad <clears throat> to get yep. a kill because I, I knew I was up by two already the whole time. Uh, once I killed that anti-tank, uh, I figured I was going to get the anti-tank gun eventually. Uh, the partisan unit in the building was a wild shot too. just like With the mortar, that was yeah. super, super That was lucky. like randomly out of nowhere. Uh, that was a pretty lucky assault there that the partisans managed to survive through though. I, I figured you were going to kill two. So it was a little risky on my part because I only went in with two. You're throwing five dice, so there's, it's a good chance you're going to kill two. fives, but I mean, like, yeah. you could have definitely... I could have ki I killed three. I expected to kill three, and I expected you to kill two. So I was just hoping it was a gamble. So in that one, the odds actually worked out almost perfectly. Right. And they, and they were against me. I knew I shouldn't have done it, but I figured, I could take the risk. Why not? It, it, it made sense at that point because that squad there would have been troublesome because I didn't have much to deal with them over here. Yeah, if I could have... would have had to swing, swing the machine gun over earlier. If I was thinking if I could have forced them out of the the sandbags there, then I could have held that position and just kept going down all the time then kind of distracting you, making you worried about them over there. Right. And that so, would have been one more kill and I would have been a little bit more comfortable with that. The little bit of housekeeping obviously is Luke and I, this is the first time we've ever filmed this game. Um, so this is the first time we've ever had people be able to watch it. So make sure to comment below. Let us know, <clears throat> first and foremost, rules mistakes. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll do our best. We did our best to show off what was happening. There might have been some stuff that wasn't 100% clear, but again, give us that feedback so we can you know, improve the filming. And then uh, tactical decision-wise. <laughs> sure, yeah. Obviously could use some help. Um, I feel like, I want, I want to know, I just don't see how the Stug is worth its points. I, that's what I kind of, <laughs> I know it was, just stuck I, I'm just stuck on this. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it. It's only got one medium machine gun and this, it's got a, a heavy anti-tank turret. That's fine. Sure. But it's for a veteran, it was 276 points. And like Josh talking to me about some of his Shermans and like even the T-34, like how many points is he at regular? Okay. So a T-34, and then that's, a, that's a T-34-85. So that's what gives him the heavy anti-tank gun. Okay. Oh, he's, got, he's got like an equivalent turret. He's got shell. the equivalent, yeah, the, the, exactly. But he's got one more machine gun. He does have one more machine gun base. He's 235 for a regular. I don't think the veteran upgrade was that much. Um, it didn't really come up because you didn't have to worry, because you, you didn't see um, pin markers. You didn't have to worry about pin right. markers and taking your tests and the rest of all that. I, I'm pretty sure the Stug here, even at regular, is about 260. Six. I think it's like 15 points per leadership upgrade. Let me go double check. Damn! The 46 point increase in cost to go from regular to veteran on this bad boy. That does not seem worth it whatsoever. I could be wrong. I could be 100% wrong. But that is, that's kind of where all my gripe with it's coming in. Uh, you know, technically, if it was... Uh, if I didn't upgrade it to a veteran, it would have been less than 25% of my army. It would have been 240 points. <laughs> so, instead of 276. 
So I made that. That's my bad there for upgrading into a veteran. Still kind of like irks me that I did that, but. I, I mean, early, it, it makes sense to show off, but I'm sure some people will give you the tactical of you should do this or that, try this or that with it. Right. Um, I don't know. Tanks are fun. I'm, I'm very excited to run my American paratroopers with some, you know, uh, armored support. I think I got three three Shermans and a Pershing upstairs. Does it sound interesting? It sounds awesome. I'm Fantastic. Re- I'll tell you right now, I refuse. <laughs> can't just refuse. I can. I can easily. <laughs> yeah, so we've got some additional forces for, I mean, Luca's got more than he showed off for the Germans. I've got I more I have uh, Russian stuff. Infantry heavy German list. The, the only tank I have is the Stug here, yeah. uh, which is fine. I mean, it's an okay. I, I, looking at it now, 240 points, even cheaper if I want to do inexperienced. I can see a little bit more value there. It does have, the, the, the gun on it's great. The turret, the big shell, that's fine. I, I, do, I do have a Tiger upstairs that's unbuilt, unpainted. Uh, Tiger seems cool, but man, that is expensive. That is like crazy expensive. Yeah, I just feel like he kind of dominates. I don't see. Or depending on what I mean, depending on what I've got, right? Like, I suppose. If I've got some he's, nice he's, big anti-tank guns. He's got a he's more durable chassis. Uh, he's got I think the equivalent kind of gun ish. Uh, he's got a better gun, I think. He's got an even heavier. I think it's a he's, super heavy anti-tank gun. Oh, okay. He's got three medium machine. He can have three medium machine guns. Right. He's got yeah. the turret on top, and like I said, I think he's armor ten to wound him. As opposed to the 9, yeah. Uh, I don't think it's 11, but it might be. Um, I, I know the Tiger 2 is like 666 points. The ty- the Veteran Tiger 2? I believe that's the Veteran Tiger 2. Yeah, yeah. I can't see him being worth that 1,000. But I, it, I, if you build a list, it's based around him, so hopefully he does a lot. It's just the activations. Yeah. So, I mean, let's chat a little bit about the game, because, I mean, I've always been in love with bolt action as far as the Dice in the Bag yeah. mechanic, yeah. as well as... So, for me, Dice in the Bag, it's just... I like the fact that it keeps you engaged the whole time. So I hope that comes through to the viewer as well. Um, I, well I, I applaud any alternate activation. Every game out there, no matter what it is, is always better with alternate activation. It's just this plays at a nice scale where you can play it in a reasonable amount of time. There's a lot of games out there that are uh, like referencing like Warhammer 40K or something. You can play that alternate activation, but it, it takes 50% it's longer to play. It's designed for it. Right. it. just certain things don't hold up. Um, big fan of this. I mean, it, it's, for me, fairly simple to follow, so hopefully, you know, viewers were able to follow along, even if you're not familiar with this. And if you're not familiar, ask questions. I'll do my best to answer them, but I'm sure there'll be plenty of uh, Warlord veterans hanging out, giving advice as well and answering questions. How'd but um, pinning, amazing. Yep, pinning's a good I, mechanic. I really like the mechanic for it. It actually didn't come up that much in this game. It didn't really, we didn't get to see too many negatives to hit because of it. We, we've seen a couple failed activations because of it. Yeah, we didn't actually, the, once units were getting pinned, they weren't doing a ton of shooting. Like the, one of the most notable one, like it, it's, it hurt me a little bit, but your veterans getting, like the, you, you had to roll on, they had to go down instead and you rolled an 11 on their leadership and they only had one pin marker on them. That was, yeah, veterans when they went to get out of the truck. Because yeah. the idea was that they would have gotten out, they would have lit something up, yeah. but then they would have assaulted. Next turn, yeah. And that would, I mean, they're devastating on the assault. Even if you're in um, some woods. kind of cover or whatever else. I, I don't think so much the woods because I think it's a little bit tougher of an assault. It's more of just, I would have been able to assault the building. Right, yeah. And your guys inside and the fact that I'm armed to the teeth so I'm just hitting first. It's so good. Yeah, well, I'm glad I got to avoid that. So that, that's, like, that's one of the factors. Like, I can narrow this game down to like, a few big factors that worked out for me. This, obviously, this thing automatically hitting like two or three times. The veterans failing a pin check. And I, that, might, might be it. that might be it. I don't think there's anything too wild other uh, than that. Oh, I mean, the, the partisans taking that. That was part of the mortar. Just like the, yeah, I guess, yeah. The, the, well, mor- the mortar carried me, and then the veterans failing their uh, morale check. Yeah, it's not only his uncanny accuracy. It's the fact that he wiped out... He, one, one shot, one unit. shot yeah, right? yeah, exactly. It, went, it plunged through the floor past the snipers into those partisans, just gone. Absolutely, yeah. And then the snipers were able to avoid the the second volley of it there, but it's a little bit harder to hit them. Well, not really. They just fifty fifty to hit them. Right. So looking at you know some of the Russian stuff, um, there's definitely a couple of vehicles I want to try out because I, I turns out I like tanks. <laughs> what a surprise! <laughs> um, I've always loved the technology from the era. So yeah, like a big ISU one fifty two or something like that. Oh. I don't even know what that is. You'll learn. <laughs> once an, I, once I get one and use it once, you'll probably know. Is it an American tank? No, 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 no. Is it British? No, no, it's, it's Soviet. Oh, it's a Soviet it's a big tank. Soviet. Uh, it's like your Stug if your Stug was cool. Okay, that's fair. I, I definitely do not think it's make cool. It a, make it a, <laughs> a bigger, more heavily armored vehicle with a, like a 152 instead of a 75 on it. Double the, double the 
size of the round. Yeah, yeah. there's a lot more <laughs> that goes into it than that, but big numbers. Okay, big numbies coming at me. Gotcha. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah, well, let me tell you, I'm not super impressed with the Stu. Obviously, it got shot down right away. And uh, I we used it in a game off camera, and it was kind of the same thing that happened. Uh, his T34, I shot at it once. I, I got like the 4 into a 4 into a 4, and I destroyed it. And then he did nothing for the rest of the game. He just couldn't hit with his He shell. just tried throwing HE at stuff and just didn't boom, do boom. anything. Miss, 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 miss. Oh, it's like 300 points. <laughs> but it got it at least got its value a little bit in that game by getting the one kill point. I don't know. I'm looking at like a Sherman with that better HE on its gun and like three medium machine guns on it. Maybe one of them's a heavy machine gun. And he just, he just, I don't know piles pins onto stuff the idea of three Punishes heavy machine infantry. guns is nice uh sorry it's not three heavies it'd be oh, three one mediums. heavy and then two mediums oh he's got a heavy or, and two mediums or you could do three mediums oh okay i mean i'm definitely attracted to the idea of having lots of machine guns on a tank that I, I care i don't care about the heavy explosive round i just care about the machine guns that's all i care about for me it just it's it's super hard to hit in this game right so you get more value out of more <clears> dice at least that's my initial impression i could be wrong but no, you throw those blasts down. I mean, it worked out for you. Your tank hit like three or four times hitting on sixes, and it was wild. Well, he only hit hit twice hitting on fives and sixes. Yeah, well, that's the, right. The guy's a hero. Like he, it, it's still painted white, which doesn't fit this table as well. But that doesn't matter. I think I don't. Did he even do anything? Like, realistically, did he do anything? Uh, he showed up and he wiped out that squad. That's here. right. He killed them. He got a kill. And then he now. put a ton of pressure on these guys. That's right. Uh, but that's that's mostly it. Like uh, the idea of having him show up, because he only showed up in turn three. It was yep. the earliest he could show up. I didn't want to get one shot by your silly little stew again. That's fair. I mean, I wouldn't want to get one shot. I wouldn't want my tank getting one shot either. But yeah, that happened awful, anyways. Eh? Yeah, it doesn't feel great. But I got the anti tank gun in revenge. That felt good. The light machine guns, amazing. Like super good. Ten shots per unit. I like that. Very reliable. Just kind of sit back with rifles, pin things, and fire light machine guns on things. They got into a great defensive position. I was a big fan of that. I don't know. I, just everything with this, again, being a new game, learning, it, it felt like there was a lot of stuff, but at the end of the day, it's pretty easy to figure out. A man with rifle, one shot, 24-inch range, hits on threes, then there's modifiers. Like It's it's fairly simple to follow everything in the game. Yeah. But there's enough variety with the different units that you know stuff feels differently, but I mean, even once you get familiar with the vehicles, like I could look at probably most tanks that ever existed and figure out their bolt action rules pretty simple. Not necessarily their points, but you know, what kind of gun would that count as? You know. Well, the, you're, you're telling me the Shermans seem to have weird, like extra special rules for like no reason. Like uh, they can Shermans jam. Have, uh, the, the what the better? Oh, they can the jam. Easily, they no, can... they easily catches fire. You said something about jamming their weapons too. No, no, the, sorry, that was any of the turreted stuff they could potentially. Oh, okay. It's one of the damage results when you get his. You might. Oh, have your turret okay, jammed yeah. In one they can easily catch on fire for whatever reason. Ah, uh, <laughs> they. I, if memory serves correct, earlier on they they were leaking a lot of oil. Were they just like pumped out quickly? Like oh, like... they they were mass manufactured like so much else. Yeah, right. I mean, at that large industrial level. But the Sherman's such a cool little tank. Um, I don't know. I feel like a Panther would be devastating in this. I'd be cool to have a Panther. I like its rules. But it's so many, it'd be so many points. And that's where I like this. It's got the Tiger can... Fear rule coming it, in, though. It, it, it yeah. does, yeah, yeah. So that actually would make a huge difference. And just I like the fact that you can kind of build your forces as themed or not themed as you want. And then even, like, if, if you really wanted to represent, you know, let's say Luke is playing as the Germans and he really wanted to use a T-34-85, you could figure out rules for the German tanks that would be equivalent to that and make them, I don't know, you know, I'm going to bring an inexperienced Panther, but he cancels a, you know, a T-34-85 T model, but he cancels an inexperienced Panther. Like, that wouldn't be that outlandish to do. Okay. You know, there's there's the there's a lot of variety in the system, which is nice. You can kind of build your force however you want to. But I don't know. I could I could absolutely just talk up how much I love the system all day. That's good. <laughs> that's, that's good. That's a positive thing. I like it. Yeah, I like it. I, like I said, I'm, I'm down for like any alternate activation system that plays well, and that's what this is. It feels it's nice and smooth. You get to you go, I go. Uh, typically pretty reliable on uh, what your plans can be. This one is nice because it's random though, so like I could in theory have 10 activations and you have five, but you get to go all five first and th that, that could really throw a wrench in plans. So it, it depends on your preference, right? You could have the, no matter what you go, I go until we're both out of activations. I prefer the random, I always prefer random uh, in any situation I can get it. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, I love this. Hopefully, hopefully you folks watching enjoyed watching it a quarter as much as I had fun playing it. <laughs> well, I mean, the more, the more 
you guys like it, the more we'll play it, right? It's typically how it goes. Yeah, you blow up, blow up the comment section, blow up the likes, blow up the subscribes, and I'll take it to the bosses and say more. <laughs> And I'll just avoid bringing the Stug next time. That way, <laughs> that way I can't get... The feel bad Stug. That way I just can't feel bad. That's, that's the goal here, is I gotta make sure that I just demoralize Luca into never bringing tanks, and then no, I never have to deal with tanks. I don't think that's a bad thing, though. <laughs> I wasn't worried about your tank. Should have been. <laughs> oh. All right, folks, that's it for this. We'll let you go. Get back to your day, and uh, stay tuned for more bolt action fun in the meantime, or in the future. And don't forget, leave your comments down below, and uh, like and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in, and happy wargaming.